Get breaking news on the go. Download our upgraded News Channel 8 app today. My bias is your interests. I report to you and for you. News Nation is a way of looking at America. Go back to the places where things matter. Show why they matter. It is about common cause and concern. That is a nation. It's you, it's me, it's we. That's News Nation. Live, this is News Channel 8 Today on your side. We are following breaking news this morning. One person is dead after a shooting in West Tampa. We will be live at the scene with the latest. Plus, the governor's decision to fly migrants to Martha's Vineyard getting mixed reaction. How local immigrants from Venezuela feel about the move. And thousands are waiting more than a day to see the late Queen of England. What comes next as the kingdom mourns their loss? Loss. Good morning. It is Saturday. I'm Melissa Marino here with Amanda Holly for a quick check on your forecast. And I love that you said it's going to be at least nice throughout the day so we can, you know, enjoy the Saturday a little bit. Yeah, you know, and today's our last day with elevated rain chances. But yes, another day with those late day downpours. So you have all pretty much all afternoon before we really ramp up those rain chances later on today for more of those slow moving late day storms. So right now, when we look at Max Defender 8 radar, right at the end of this loop, you'll start to see some greens popping up there. Um, in western portions of Polk County and eastern portions of Hillsborough County, but I'm pretty sure that that is just some low clouds right now near the ground. It's not really actually raining. The real rain that's falling, the thunderstorm, is well out in the Gulf of Mexico at the moment. Our rain chances not increasing until later on today. This is why. This is a live look from our Lakeland Hyundai camera out in Polk County. We're at 74 degrees, seeing some clouds on the on the camera here, but overall pretty quiet as we begin this Saturday. We're going to warm up. We'll see some of those clouds stick around through midday. Temperatures will be warming into the upper 80s today, near average for us. Some spotty storms will start to develop at 3 o'clock. But it's the widespread thunderstorms at 6 p.m. that last until about 8 p.m. And by 9 o'clock, we're drying out. And that's when our temperatures will be back in the mid to upper 70s. So, yeah, these hourly rain chances will stay very low up until about 12 o'clock. By uh, the early afternoon hours, we'll see that 20% rain chance. And then I bump it up all the way to a 60% for later on this evening. Tomorrow, the silver lining, the second half of the weekend here, going to be a good bit drier. Fewer storms will form tomorrow afternoon with just a 40% rain chance. Temperatures a bit warmer at 90. Melissa. Thank you, Amanda. Now to that breaking news happening this morning. One person is dead after a shooting in West Tampa. Brittany Moeller joins us now live from the scene with the very latest. Brittany. Melissa, good morning. Right now, details are limited, but we're at the intersection of Monroe and West Arch Streets, where police are no longer on the scene. Of course, we'll keep you updated once we learn more information. Reporting live this morning in West Tampa, Brittany Muller, 8, on your side. Brittany, thank you. This morning, nearly 50 Venezuelan migrants are residing at Joint Base Cape Cod after they were flown to Martha's Vineyard at the instruction of Governor Ron DeSantis. Now we're hearing from some local Venezuelans here in Florida on the governor's decision. They have family, they have friends that are here, that that's usually where they come to because, it's, you know, Florida is the number one state for migrants, especially if they come from Latin America. Now, some of the migrants flown to Massachusetts say the trip from Texas was the most uncertain part of their journey from the South American nation. And the governor says he is going to keep sending migrants to what he calls sanctuary jurisdictions that try to come to Florida. The line in London this morning to see Queen Elizabeth's coffin is now more than 24 hours long. Thousands are waiting in line just for a glimpse of Her Majesty and to pay respects. King Charles and his wife Camilla are joining the rest of his siblings and they will hold a vigil for the Queen. Her funeral is on Monday and News Channel 8 will have coverage of a special report honoring her legacy. The federal government investigating after a worker died at the Port of Tampa. The accident happened yesterday morning when a concrete slab fell on the worker. Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies say the piece of concrete that fell weighed around 3,000 pounds. The 27-year-old victim was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. The body of a missing rowing student has been recovered from an Orlando 8 lake. 
Orlando fire officials say a rowing team, they were practicing on Thursday at the North Orlando Rowing Complex when their boat was possibly hit by lightning and capsized. Five teens were on the boat at the time. One teen was hospitalized, the other went missing. The three other teens were safely pulled from the water. In Polk County, Sheriff's deputies this morning, they are searching for the man that you see right here, and they say he is armed and dangerous. Deputies say 32-year-old Gary Barker broke into a home in Bartow on Wednesday. Now, they say if you see him, he'll be recognizable. He has several tattoos, including the one that you see there on his forehead. If you see him, please contact the Polk County Sheriff's Office. A Texas court upholding a law that controls how social media is censored. Just ahead, what companies this will impact. Plus, the holiday travel season, it is approaching fast, and flight prices are skyrocketing. How much more you can expect to pay to go on a trip this fall? Just ahead. You're watching News Channel 8, awarded the 2021 Suncoast Regional Emmy for News Excellence. Two six-year-old twins are being credited for saving their mother during an attack in Melbourne. The two girls are being hailed as heroes by police who say they stepped in as their mother was being attacked by her drunk boyfriend. The girls threw various items, fending off the man identified as Andrew Williams on the right side of your screen. It gave their mother enough time to go into the bathroom and hide before police say Williams fled the apartment and was eventually taken into custody. Coming up on News Channel 8, a local councilwoman is stepping down after it came to light she didn't fit a certain requirement. And a $20 million project to combat the housing crisis in the Bay Area. We'll have more details. Tropical storm Fiona getting organized and strengthening this morning as it nears Puerto Rico. Coming up, I'll break down the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center and any impacts here to the Tampa Bay Area. Play your game inside the game. Live odds and lines, the matchups, breaking sports news. Tune in every day for the winning edge only on Sports Grid. Hey, Tampa Bay sports fans, watch Sports Grid on these local channels. New look, faster features. Download the upgraded News Channel 8 app today. In St. Pete, another major shakeup in city government. This time, a council member is leaving her seat after it came to light that she lives outside the district that she represents. Now, former council member Lisa Wheeler Bowman stepped down hours after it came to light that the home she recently bought was outside of her district. She says she was not aware of the residency requirement, and because of the housing crisis, she could not find a home in her district. Once I find out I had 60 days, I was like, okay, gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah. And and it's okay because I'm all right. I'm at peace in my heart with it. The council chair says this was a surprising and disappointing turn of events. City leadership will now look to appoint a new member to fill that void. The Hillsborough Transit Authority, they're holding a career fair today with dozens of openings. Hart is hiring more than 80 positions. They are holding a career fair starting this morning at 9 a.m. It's happening at the Hart Operations Facility located on East 21st Avenue in Tampa. That fair runs until 2 this afternoon. Now to the latest on the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Disturbing images coming out of eastern Ukraine where a mass grave has been found. Max Defender 8, the most advanced weather radar in Florida. Sponsored by Plumbing Today. It is such a nice morning uh, to start this weekend here. Taking a live look from our Lakewood Ranch camera. Temperatures are in the low 70s. We have some patchy clouds off in the distance, getting some nice color on the horizon as the sun tries to rise this morning. But it's dry in most spots. There's a look from our duet camera. Also seeing some of those patchy clouds with temperatures in the lower 70s. We'll take it, right? Wendy in Brooksville also just checked in at 73 degrees. We've got some storms out in the Gulf of Mexico. We've seen those the past few days. They're kind of meandering in place right now, but mostly dry across the area with those patchy clouds in the sky. Can't rule out a sprinkle or two, maybe a raindrop falling on your windshield if you're headed out over the next few minutes, but overall mainly dry at just a 10% rain chance really through the early afternoon hours. That means we'll warm up with the patchy clouds in the sky. I keep temperatures at about 83 by 11 o'clock. By 1 p.m. we're at 87, topping out near 88, 89 today. Day. We'll see some more of those building clouds, those, gro tall, uh, those clouds growing taller by 1 o'clock, and a few spotty storms starting to pop up right around 3 o'clock. And we're not going to see any effects from Tropical Storm Fiona, which is good news. It's going to kind of actually take some of this moisture and hold it to the east of Florida, leaving us a little bit drier. But 
Tropical Storm Fiona is getting organized right now. We're seeing a lot of the convection starting to wrap around even on the western side. Those upper level winds that were kind of preventing that organization, they've weakened and we're seeing those maximum winds now at 60 miles per hour. As it approaches Puerto Rico, we've got tropical storm warnings in effect here. Forecast cone takes it over the island of Hispaniola, but just on the northern edge of it, which won't be, it will allow the storm to hold its structure a little bit more because it's not going to be as impacted by those high mountains. And that case will actually see the storm strengthen a little bit quicker. And the forecast cone actually has it becoming a category one storm as it approaches the Bahamas with strong winds of 90 miles per hour as it moves away. But you can see here how far away that cone is from the state of Florida in general. Those forecast models in generally very good agreement, taking it well away from the state of Florida and really away from the United States. So great news for us here in the Tampa Bay area. But we are going to be watching for those impacts down in Puerto Rico and the island of Hispaniola. Lots of rain expected there and possible landslides. Right, right now for us, though, we're going to be watching for those heavy downpours later on in the day today with that 60% rain chance. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s today, but again, 60% rain chance not until after about 4 o'clock. Tomorrow, rain chances at a 40%. We'll still see some spotty storms in the afternoon, but it's going to be much drier than it has been the past several days. Melissa. We need it. Thank you, Amanda. And storms, they forced many high school football cancellations last night, but there was still plenty of action. Dan Lucas and Karen Loftus, they bring us the highlights coming up from Friday Night Blitz. Time right now, 7.20 on your Saturday morning. Here's a live look over the Bay Area as the sun starts to rise through the clouds. We'll be right back.